you're going to need a really um, nice decorative frame. And this is the frame that I have chosen. It is actually humongous. If I scroll it down, that's the end. And across, this is how far it goes. So it's really, really, really big. I'll get a better shot. And then you're also going to need this right here, which is called chicken wire. And I got this at my local dollar store. It's wide enough to fit across um, the opening of this frame. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to staple that down and then we'll continue on with the project. So right now I'm going to show you guys how I actually edit my photos. I use my iPad and I go to an app called Rona Designs. Okay? And then you're going to click here to open a new photo. I'm going to go to my camera roll. And I'm going to choose a photo that I've already done. So I'm going to choose my daughter. You can change into a square and adjust it. I'm going to keep the original size. You can, you know, flip it. So you press the check mark. And then I'm going to add the number. She was four, four years old here. So I'm going to click on this. And this shows all the um, design packs that I have. So here is a bunch of numbers. And down here you get to choose. I'll show you. You get to choose any number that you want. So I'm going to choose the number four and I'm going to adjust the size and I'm going to move it off to the right side over here. And then you're going to press done and after that I'm going to add a filter. So you're going to click these three lines right here that opens up the menu and you're going to click on filters. And the filter I'm going to use, I've been using the same one and I'm going to go to vintage chrome which brightens up the photo. It looks a little bit washed out on the camera, but it's it's not really. So I'm going to check mark it off and then I'm going to open up the menu and I'm going to put or click onto open in another app which is called Rona Designs Magic. Now this is where you get to add a bunch of new um, features and layers. So while it's opening, it's opening still. So we're going to add a layer, we're going to click on that, and it's going to be, there's adjustments, filters, candy, which is different um, tones. Um, there's bokeh or bokeh, um, which is the little dots. There's light leaks, which changes the color, and you can adjust the color and move it around wherever you want. So I'm not using that one. Oops. I'm going to delete the layers because it's adding them for me. So we're going to go add layer again. So there's light leaks, edges, and this obviously gives the edges of the photo a different feel. And then there's also a blur, which you can focus on which part of the photo you want blurred out. Different types of textures onto the photo. There's newsprint, so now you can see her face has some writing on it. Um, different types of newsprint. Then there's different types of textures. There's this type of pattern that you could overlay the photo with. But today, I'm just going to delete all these layers that I've done. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the bokeh lights 
And I like to add, I'm going to show you up close. I like to add the one with a bunch of little dots. So now you can see, oh my gosh, somebody just came home. <laughs> Don't mind the voices and my dog. But anyways, I'm going to add the dots around here and I'm going to magnify them a bit. I'm going to go to options, share, high resolution, and then it's going to render it off. And then I'm going to save my image. And that's how I edit my photos on those apps.
once your frame is done being chicken wired up <laughs> and you're done with your layouts, we're going to use these type of binder clips or alligator clips to hang up the little um, layouts that we created. project. Um, the chicken wire is all up and all the photos, the little layouts are hung. On the top here I made a banner that says you're my cup of tea and it has her name Alyssa. There's her first birthday, her second, her third, then you move on over on this side and there's her fourth, her fifth, and then her sixth. And her 7th birthday this June, I'll be placing a photo right in the center. And this um, frame will be displayed on an easel so everybody can see it. I hope you guys like the project and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!